Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to explore a Doppler radar. In my previous videos, I showed you how we could count cars with a smart camera. And the best I was able to do was to perhaps get up to about 88% accuracy on uh, counting. I can improve the accuracy by combining the smart camera with either a um, LiDAR, which was on the previous video, or a radar, which we're going to explore now. So um, what is the Grove Doppler radar? Let's, let's have a look at the module first. So we'll just open up and uh, explore what it is. So it's a, a 24 gigahertz transceiver. So it's emitting and receiving pulses from an object. Cost-wise, uh, Previous, I bought this in 2020 at um, US just under $60, but the price has increased now to $66, a 10% increase. So what can you use this for? Well, the obvious one is a police uh, speed radar, but it can also be used in a lot of other applications in the uh, smart house. And um, it can open doors or use for lighting control. And it's more accurate than a passive infrared um, receiver or a PIR. So um, what we've got uh, is a uh, combined microwave um, IC. So the uh, total electronics for our 24 gigahertz transceiver is on a chip. And uh, it uses a um, MPU based on the ARM Cortex M0. So uh, let's go and have a look at it. So it's one of the Grow family. So it's the uh, first radar-based sensor that they've put out. Quite um, a small package. And uh, we might actually explore what the uh, hardware looks like. So how it works, first of all, is that um, when we have an object which is moving, uh, it will either change uh, the um, wavelength depending on whether it's uh, moving away or moving towards us. So uh, having a look at the back of the module, uh, we can see on the left we've got our um, uh, 24 gigahertz transceiver. And on the right, we've got the um, Grove interface. And you can see from that that we're using a UART interface for our um, connection to a computer. And um, we might actually explore some of the specs of it. So um, the interesting thing is the, uh, well, perhaps the update time, uh, 300 milliseconds, and the communications interface using the UART uh, is going to, um, here's the uh, board rate with our um, computer. And um, we can also look at the packets uh, between the host computer and the uh, Grove Doppler radar module. So you can see that we've got a number of um, bytes in a packet here and uh, we start off with the address code, the instruction, the data length, the data field, and the uh, check code. Now, lucky for me, Seed Studio has already uh, put this into a um, library that can be accessed by the Arduino IDE. So we might actually look at one of my projects that um, is exploring this. So um, you can see the desktop of my um, arrangement here. And uh, I'm going to use a uh, display, an LCD, that shows the speed. So um, the speed, when it's um, uh, neutral, uh, will be green. Uh, otherwise, it will be blue or red. And right on top, you can see the uh, Grove Doppler radar mounted on a Lego frame. 
So the overall objectives are to test the software from Seed Studio, and I want to get the speed and the state, and I'll be showing uh, the results on the serial monitor which uh, is on my Windows PC, and also on the Grove LCD. Hardware-wise, this time I'm changing computers, and I'm going to use a um, Seduno Nano computer. Quite low cost, so you can buy these for about uh, $7.60, and it's compatible with the uh, Arduino Nano computer, both in pinouts and in size. Quite similar, but it has um, the extra feature that there's a Grove connection on top. And that can be uh, programmed either for the, um, uh, oh, that can only be programmed for the I to C interface. I'm combining that with a Grove Shield, and uh, that's a fairly low cost module at $2.90, and a couple of Grove wires and you can see the Grove connection. So we might go across now and actually explore that. Let's have a look at how the uh, radar unit is put together. Our computer here is the Suduno Nano, and it's Arduino Nano, Nano compatible, very close in compatibility to the Arduino Uno. And uh, to this, we've already got um, one Grove port on board, and it can plug um, into a breadboard if necessary. Let's have a look at um, how it's constructed here. We uh, add a USB cable to our Windows computer, and this is where we do our um, programming using the Arduino IDE. And we also get the results back from our measurements to the PC using that um, serial port on the USB cable. And we're going to add um, more Grove connections um, via a Grove shield for the Seduno Nano. And uh, one of those is going to be our Doppler radar. And it's connected to ports two and three using the uh, UART interface. And the other interface will go straight to the I to C Grove socket on the um, uh, nano computer board itself. And uh, that's how all the components fit together. So um, let's explore the uh, communications. We've previously seen that the um, uh, we have to set up a, uh, a software serial uh, device on our um, nano computer and that's going to uh, use ports two and three for receive and transmission um, we'll go across now and have a look at the software let's go across to the arduino ide and have a look at the radar software so what we have here is um, two objects one for the uh, doppler radar and uh, since we're using c++ we create an instance and we can uh, then manipulate the output uh, using the uart uh, from that module so this is what we're doing here by including the first library the second object uh, our hardware has a grove lcd um, display and we uh, create an instance of that and that becomes our LCD in the software and at the beginning we um, are going to set up a white background for our um, backlight and um, for our Doppler radar we define the states of our radar if it's um, the object is approaching us, it will be two. If it's leaving, it'll be one. And if it uh, hasn't found an object, it'll be zero. And that'll be the uh, value of the state. And the other value we're collecting is the target speed. So in the setup, we set up our LCD display. 
with both colour and a small message announcing that we've got a Doppler radar on the uh, first row. And after that, we um, wait for a message from the Doppler radar unit. In the loop, we constantly go round and collect the speed and show that speed on the uh, LCD and also on the um, uh, serial port. So our Arduino serial monitor can pick that up. And we also get the state. And depending on the value, we can change the color. So uh, when we're um, approaching, we show blue. And when we're um, leaving, we show red. A little bit like the blue and the red shift when we're looking at um, the stars and astronomy. When there's nothing, we just show a green. And uh, in the loop, the last thing we do before the delay is we display the measurement. And here we just simply show the state value on the top line. And on the lower line, we show the speed. And uh, what's interesting that our uh, units that we show are in units of 52 centimetres a second. So uh, we've got everything set up and all we've got to do now is switch on the uh, monitor and have a look at the values that are being collected. So we'll uh, just move the screen, clear it, and I'll move across and back. So you can see that we're changing the, um, the state depending on whether I move my hand towards the module or away from the module. And we can also um, see the speed and the state on the plotter. So we might bring that across and um, you can have a look at it. So uh, in blue, we've got the state and in um, the speed is in red. So uh, as I approach it or go away from it, you can see the uh, the plotted value of the speed. Okay, so um, that's the uh, Grove Doppler radar on the uh, Seduno nano computer. This is the demonstration of the Grove studio Doppler radar. So the actual uh, transceiver is mounted on a um, Lego frame and that's mounted on a um, Lego board and um, it's all driven with a computer in the back here and that is a um, Seduno nano computer which is uh, Arduino nano compatible. And the results of our measurements go to our um, LCD display and it has a uh, color changing background. So um, when we push our hand towards it, it will change color. So depending on uh, how our hand moves, the color will change. And we'll also put the results of the measurements onto the serial monitor. So you can see that here, I'll clear the screen and you can see as I move my hand that the state is changing and the speed is changing. And that's the um, Doppler radar station using the Grove Doppler radar.